Short corners are becoming more and more popular in football, but fans have been questioning their value in comparison to regular corners. So the question that everyone has been asking is why are teams actually doing it? To understand the thought process behind corners, we need to understand how much managers value possession in today's game especially. Pep Guardiola, for example, is a master of controlling games, and Mikel Arteta has even alluded to him being way more defensive than you think. People have often likened defensive football to managers who favour compact, non-possession and lower defensive lines. However, in the eyes of Pep Guardiola, this is a very dangerous approach, as you allow your opposition the chance to control the play, dictate where the danger takes place and effectively concede more chances. And in Pep Guardiola's own words, there are two options to stop counter-attacks. One is to run and the other is to control the ball without making mistakes. However, this controlling of possession has reached an all-time high. You see, the best way to score against a team like Manchester City is to take the minimal counter-attacking opportunities you can get, meaning that the opposition team won't be in a set block, they'll be disorganised and they won't have control of the situation. And one of the most exposed moments for a team like this is when they have a corner. And it just so happens this is exactly the type of goal Manchester City conceded when they lost 2-1 to Brentford last season. They took advantage of an attacking corner and created a cutback moment where City ended up having Kevin Kevin De Bruyne, Erling Haaland, Ilkay Gundogan, Bernardo Silva and Manuel Akanji defending the box. And it's these types of disorganisation that Pep Guardiola will hate. The thinking behind the corners are that if you cross the ball into the box you have 50-50 chance to win the first contact and another 50-50 chance to win the second contact. And to certain managers they want to make the game about having the biggest percentage of control in their favour. So what do they do? They do one of two things. They either sign or value height and power in their team to get the highest percentage chance of winning them first and second contacts in both boxes, for example teams like Everton and West Ham. Or you play your attacking corners short to turn a 50-50 ball into a 100% chance that you begin with the possession. But the obvious counter to this point is that if you're playing the ball short, surely you're missing out on a big opportunity to generate a high quality chance by winning a header in the six yard box. If you think of a team like Luton Town, West Ham, Everton, their squad is made up of tall, powerful players who can attack the ball in the box, especially from set plays. However, what happens if you don't have them profiles? Because you need players who are more technical and very good at playing with the ball in tighter spaces to dominate and control games. Well, the logical answer is you turn a corner into an open play game scenario. If a team scores from a short corner but has a passing sequence of up to 10 passes before the goal, then it may actually seem like it's from open play. But the outcome between that and a ball crossed into the box from a direct corner is the exact same. One of the two methods is just a lot safer, and some would argue it's too safe. But which one of them is more valuable, going long or going short? And to find out the goal probability value between long and short corners, we have to go into the data. So far this Premier League season, there's been 408 short corners taken, with 12 goals being scored from them corners, ended up with a scoring frequency percentage of 2.9. However, when we look at direct corners, there's been a whopping 1,666 taken, with 66 goals being scored from them corners, ended up with a scoring frequency of a 1% higher 3.9%. However, the piece of data that teams will value the most is that these crosses into the box from these direct corners across the Premier League this season have had a 34% success rate. This means that two thirds of the time, the corner taking team is actually turning over the ball. However, despite Manchester City signing these bigger profiles in Rodri, Manuel Akanji, Ruben Diaz and even Erling Haaland, they're still finding more success from going short than going direct off corners. From the 123 corners they've had, they've crossed 73 of them, scoring just once from them crosses, which is a low conversion rate of 1.3%. However, when it comes to short corners this season, they've only played 53, but they've scored 5 goals from them, which is a huge 9.4% conversion rate. So, do you think short corners have a genuine purpose, or do you believe that getting it in the mixer will always be the most effective style of play?